Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, it's your pal Kyle to Let's Play Crash Twin Sanity. And I am a freaking idiot. I saw this soccer ball so many times in editing. How did I miss it when I was actually playing the stage? Let me just let's just blow this up and maybe get that red gem. Come on. Then I hit it. I didn't hit it. Okay. And there's your red gem. So I have no idea how to get the yellow one. <coughs> yeah, the yellow one will probably be the last one we get. Oh, that's done. Let's finally head on and uh, head down into a ye old boiler. This looks eerie. What do you expect from an evil? Yeah. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay then. Oh gee, I wonder where I'm supposed to go. Yeah. I don't even need to be beating these things. So I'm just gonna be on my merry way. And it's Cortex. Now there is. Yep. Okay, I can't seem to get that, so. Use the paths to flush Cortex through sewers. Greatest evil scientist in the world! Stuck in a pipe. How could things get any worse? Well, if that ain't just pure comedy. Okay. Now I can push Cortex around like a ball. Doing so activates mechanisms. Like this over here, which makes this switch so much easier to get to now. Ugh. Ah. Camera. There we go. Got two lives and a gem. The clear gem. What do we got over here? Yep, this is basically just a big puzzle level, and Cortex is in this pipe for the majority of this world. World. Use the term loosely. Press the button to activate the flush, A. Eh? Yeah, half of the fun of this stage is just watching Cortex go where he does. Did I miss anything back there? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Didn't miss anything? Yep. Oh, this looks precarious. You have to get Cortex across this. And not run them into those nitro crates on the other end. Okay, just be careful. Just be careful. Oh no, no, he's gone. And pretty lenient with the checkpoints in this level because. Cortex falls off and dies. You die. Yeah. 
I want to take care of these rats. Spin this, and it makes good stuff happen. Like so. <clears throat> so, let's put on this and activate the flesh. <laughs> Looks like I was stuck there for a second. That would have been unfortunate. And he's out. So let's run over there. Cortex is supposed to attack the enemies. Alright, start over there. Alright, all's well and good. Watch out for these beetles. I think you can just smash them right away, but it's much safer to spin them first. And we got some platforming! Imagine that. And these bugs aren't like those beetles. And let's throw Cortex over there. Oh, he actually collects the jam. You don't have to get him to land on it. Okay. So no pipe this time, just valves. Oh. <laughs> okay. Dodge the fires. It's building bridges all day long. And that looks interesting. Okay. Yeah. Good thing about those. You're not in really any real danger from those, but still, it's nerve-wracking, I suppose. It's not not that nerve-wracking. <coughs> anyway, let's move forward. More fire. More beetles. I could there. <coughs> and there are a lot of these vents everywhere. But we are in the boiler, so that's to be expected. Boiler room doom. Whoa. Let's get hit by that bat. This guy's got far reach. Uh. And we're putting Cortex back in a pipe. Back in a pipe. Okay. How convenient is that? We don't want to hit the flush just yet. You want to spin the valve first. And that is either a really poorly hidden or a really well hidden purple gem. No. Yep. There's still more we can do. Oh. <laughs> that was close. And speaking of close. Well, let's try that again. Okay. Back again, spinning valves. 
What did that do? Ah, here we go. And that activates that. Let's go over here. <coughs> Sorry, I keep pausing. I just gotta clear my throat. Alright, that should be everything. Let's activate the flush. Look at him go. He's zooming. But we're not done yet. I think I'm getting close though. This level isn't too terribly long. Love getting those both on one run. Just makes things so much more convenient. Okay. That's more rats. That's more valves. Let's just have at it. Eh. Fell too hard. Eh. No, oh, man, that was close. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oop. <laughs> And there's the yellow gem. And... I don't think that's the last one we need. Yeah, we're still missing the green gem. Just as I thought. Okay, that should be everything. All the valves. Yeah, I turned all the valves. Alright, let's go. Okay, let's get him out of this. Yeah, crystal. Didn't think we were done collecting those, did you? Didn't have enough for the Psychotron, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't get any more. And, oh, what's this? Rumor is you two chumps have got your mitts in some treasure. And I want a piece of that pie. I have no idea what you just said. And yep, it's Dingo Dial. And when we fought Tikamon, I said there was one other boss that tried my spot for my favorite boss in the game. That was Dingo Dial. And this fight is just so solid. I mean, it's a classic Crash character. The setting's great. Music's still awesome. And it may look at but Oh, wait. Nope, never mind. Yeah, you can't just scroll underneath this one. I was thinking of a different attack he has. And I haven't even talked about how to beat this guy. When he starts charging up a fire shot, why check him into hitting these tombstone looking things. It will move the grate to reveal a switch, belly flop the switch, and it will activate the sprinkler system, distracting him long enough for you to hit him. 
do that four times, then you're set. Easier said than done, trust me, I have... When I first fought this guy, when I first played this game, this gave me so much trouble. Particularly this move, a wall of fire that you cannot jump nor slide under. Jump under, yeah. <laughs> Just run in circles. And that was the fire shot I was supposed to get into the lure. I think that's the first time I've died to a boss. Hmm. Also, it's worth... Well, it's not really worth noting, but... Ah. Why does he sound like a hog? As opposed to a dingo or, or crocodile. I mean, granted, I'm not very well versed in either noise the creature makes. Noise either creature makes. But I'm pretty sure dingoes don't sound like this. Okay, here we go. There we go. Stay focused. His attacks are pretty easy to dodge, but also really easy to get overwhelmed. Really, it's all a matter of practice. I think you can be good at this game, but bad at this boss. Well, that doesn't make sense. Maybe I'm just rambling and trying to sound good. <laughs> But I do really like this fight. Still can't decide if I like it more than Tiki Mon because Tiki Mon is just so crazy. Both of these fights are great. Every fight in this game is great. Well, maybe not every fight is. I don't know. It, it, <laughs> this is a good game, that's all I've got. Didn't slide quick enough. Well, if everything goes well, that should be the last time I die. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Okay. Yep, then he does this. This is just a really hot jump rope. Like that one Mario Party minigame. This is Fire Limbo. Not to be confused with Fire Purgatory. Now's not the time for jokes like that. Now's the time to be getting him wet and leaving him dry. That didn't sound cool at all. <laughs> that sounded very perverse, actually. Way to go, self. Yeah, when he does this attack, you want to get close to him so you can move him out the field faster because the distance you're going to have to run here is shorter than this you'd have to run out there. Look at me applying that to a video game. A video game like this, no less. Yep. Well, wow, that was close. Okay. So far, so good. And he wasn't fine. Chatting. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Okay. And finish it with the pen he started with. That'll do, Dango Dial. That'll do. And 
We're now exiting the boiler. Actually, I don't know if you can jump on these mice. Yeah, I'd try it if I had some health, but I don't. Where are we now? Hooray! <laughs> uh, this game is just... Why does this keep happening? Be right back!